so bottom line, this means that if you want to be, you know, as predicted as possible, next month you should get the seasonal flu shot, and then in October you should start getting your H1N1 shot. If, if you're in the priority group, okay. if you're in the pri one of those six priority groups that I delineated. And then if you're not in the priority group? Well, as more vaccine becomes available, that, uh, you know, one will in fact expand that. But I think uh, given the fact that the priority groups together constitute about half the population, that is the first priority. Do you think it's going to be confusing to people accustomed to just getting one flu shot? I, th I think it will be confusing, and that's one of the reasons for uh, the press conference, and we ask for your full cooperation as the media because people will be confused and uh, because it's not the usual practice. But uh, I'm sure that with uh, working together uh, with the media that we together can make sure that people have accurate information and know what's expected and know how to best protect themselves and their family. Why is it that public health for the, for the H1N1 shot is focusing on the uninsured population as opposed to the general population? Well, we, uh, in terms of, we are focusing on the entire population in terms of our role in making sure that providers sign up, that the vaccine is appropriately distributed. We have actually a larger role uh, than usual in terms of the distribution of H1N1 because we're going to have to make sure that it's going to providers who are, who are in fact the providers of the priority population. So we will be involved in the allocation process with the, uh, with the national distributor. Um, so we have actually a broader role in that. Um, in an average year, we give approximately 6% of the flu shots, roughly. Um, so we're never a major a direct administrator of that. Um, and this year won't be any, any different. But instead of focusing on uh, our outlying clinics and points of dispensing for the seasonal flu, we're going to focus on the H1N1 as the priority. How should doctors and nurses, whoever is responsible for giving out these shots, how should they be what kind of criteria should they use, you know, first, um, it, will there be an announcement that, you know, um, that the general public can, uh, can then receive a flu shot? There'll be plenty of information coming out from the Centers for Disease Control, the state, and for us, and we want to all make sure we're giving a, a unified uh, message because, as you point out, this is a, things are different this year, and it, and it will be initially confusing. But I have a great faith in the and all those residents of Los Angeles County that together we can figure this out and, and protect the public as best we can. And, and I'm uh, optimistic that this, will, that this will work well, but we're going to need everybody's full cooperation. Will there be enough uh, vaccine to go around? And is there going to be, are you going to directly apply the criteria? criteria so, like suppose you have a, a run of older people who want to get a vaccine, would they be refused? Or? Well, we're going to be working with providers on that. I think we have to make sure that, that the initial vaccine really goes to, uh, to those priority groups. Um, and, uh, you know, you can never say never, but we really are going to focus on, on those priority groups because those are the ones at greatest risk. Initially, there would be a shortage. Again, we, we expect to get the first batch of vaccine in roughly mid-October. We don't know exactly how many doses that is going to be. We would um, hope, and I want to just emphasize this is our hope, but it's not, uh, not clear yet um, from national data that we would get over a million doses. Um, and again, when I say we, Los Angeles County, to be broadly distributed, uh, of course, uh, not everybody in this high priority group will get uh, these uh, these uh, two administrations. Um, we don't know exactly what proportion are likely to do that, but we're going to work hard to make sure that for everybody in that priority group, there's a place they can go and get the flu Im Im immunization that's important to them. Are you con um, do you feel that the that clinics and uh, pharmacies are ready to roll out uh, an expanded version of uh, of all the flu shots that need to be? Well, we are working closely with, uh, with pharmacies, and uh, we would expect that there are a lot of them that will partner um, in, the, in the provision of this flu because they want to be a service to their community just like, uh, just like the providers are in terms of providing this important service.